Hello friends, welcome to the world of learning and growing. So last week I was on a business trip, so I had a conference uh, and I went there. So we could not connect on our usual timings and our videos. So now I am back with a super interesting video. I have been reading this book Limitless by Jim Quick. And today I am here to tell you what awesome techniques that I've learned from that book. So first is how to read a technical material faster. So this is for all the people out there who are students, who are professionals, who have certain technical task of reading. If you are reading a scientific book, it is very different from reading a fiction. Because fiction, you can just scroll around and even one or two lines if you miss, it does not make a lot of difference. Whereas when it comes to technical reading, when you are reading a subject in your MBBS or in your engineering, it makes a lot of difference even if you miss a single word. So how do how do we read or how to read faster and remember it better whenever we are reading some technical material which is full of information and you want to remember each and everything that is given there. So let me give you a live example. Okay, so just assume that I am reading this book of physiology. So this is my physiology book from my MBBS and you are a student and you are reading physiology and there is a chapter called as cerebrospinal fluid that is CSF. So there is this chapter in this book and I want to read that chapter and finish it within the least time possible and make a strategy to remember it forever because my exams would be there uh, maybe next year or I have to study for the NEET PG where it can be asked even after five years or six years. So how do I remember this subject for that long? Okay. So there are four steps to that. We will go through it. So very first step when you are reading a technical material is this is the chapter. So you will just go through the book. You will just turn the pages. You will just get a visual idea of what there is. Okay. And in the first step, what you will do is read or look at the images or tables. Just everything that is non-textual, that is not text, that is not written in paragraphs, you have to go and read it. So there is a table, there is a diagram which is labeled. Then again, there is another flow chart. There is another diagram. I will just go through it and I will try to understand what these images are. So these are my posts or check posts. Whenever we are traveling from one place to another, what do we do? We Google Maps. We put our destination, we put our starting point and we track whatever the uh, distance is. And we look for posts, check posts. That is, ha, it is behind that shop it is next to that hotel so these are your posts so these images are your guiding posts which will guide you to read that material okay so now step one is completed i've seen uh, what they have given here there is a table again there is a small uh, diagram for circulation of csf and i've read whatever they uh, whatever they have given dura matter arachnoid matter subarachnoid space pia matter choroid plexus, lateral ventricle, third ventricle and then there is this uh, flow chart for cerebrospinal fluid circulation. So where it goes from, I've read that. Okay, now the first step is completed. Now you have completed the step one. We now uh, go into the step two. So step two, you have to use your index finger. Okay, and right from the first word of that chapter, just move your index finger in a very swift motion. Okay, so I am just moving it in a very swift motion. So what this does is, whenever something is familiar to you, you just let it go off. Okay, so off and the uh, is are are very familiar words to us. So when we are screening, these words do not come into our eyes. But now a, a word came that is choroid plexus. Now this is a word that I don't know. So what I will do is I will take a pen and I will underline this word. Okay. Then again, I will go around. Then I, I know all of these words. Again, here, there is a word of pilocarpin. Okay, so say that I don't know pilocarpin, so I'll un I underline it. So you do it for the entire chapter. You just move around. It will take hardly two or three minutes for you to just put your finger throughout all the lines so that your eyes search for the words which are not familiar to you. And we just have to mark these words and then go out, uh, go up online and just search for the meanings of this word. So that when you sit to read, when you try and understand the entire text, you do not stop. You do not have any hurdles. And whenever something is unfamiliar, our brain tries to move away from it. 
it tries to ignore the part because we are uh, as a human being don't try to know something because we try to ignore whatever we don't know and we try to focus on whatever we know so that is a bias that our brain has so it is better that if we are prepared if we know every word that is here that if we know all the meanings it is very very easy for our brain to pick up and that increases your speed of learning and it increases your memory as well so this is step 2 so now we come to step 3 so in step 3 let me give you an example that uh, our brain is a very lazy reader so whenever there is a lazy reader and you want him to read something what you will do you will ask him questions you will ask him did you read this what did you mean by that so that you know that he has read it or he has understood it okay so asking questions is a very very effective form of learning it acts your brain and it makes it uh, makes it active rather than passive reading so uh, when you ask question, it tries to recollect the information. It tries to give you that answer because that is how a mechanism of uh, memory and brain works. So whenever you are trying to read something, just uh, so it is very easy. You can just read the headlines, headings. So it is properties in composition of cerebrospinal fluid. So just write down a question. What is the composition of cerebrospinal fluid? So after you have, you are done with the chapter, you should know these five or six questions. So it is advisable that you uh, prepare a list of five to seven questions for each chapter. It can be based on the heading. It can be based on any important concept that, is ha that it has. So uh, again, if I say that, wh uh, what is the circulation of cerebrospinal fluid? So this is my another question. Third is, what is the function of cerebrospinal fluid? So if I make such four to five questions for this chapter, it will be very easy for me because now my mind has a question. So when I read it, when I approach that topic, it knows, oh, I have been asked what is the function of cerebral, I should know it. So the uh, brain will fix it in a question answer, question answer form, which is easier for us to understand and recollect whenever the question will come in the exam or in your viva also. Whenever somebody asks you, you will have that question answer format set in your brain. And as you know, when the teacher in question answer format, mein likha thi, to the marks aate the. Because that is how our brain is programmed from the school time that we uh, look at the question and we give the answer. We look at the question. So make use of that conditioning of your brain from your school times to remember the technical uh, uh, details in your adult life as well. So this is step number three. Now we come to step number four. This is our last and final step. And this is the step where we actually go to read this chapter. We make this mistake that if we have to learn a chapter or two, we just come sit with the book and try to remember each and every line and go ahead with reading the entire chapter straight away. But this is wrong. I have told you the goalposts where you can condition your mind and prepare your mind to remember this better because whenever you are trying to recollect this topic after one year, two years or five years, whenever you're having your MCQ exams, NEET, NEXT, whatever, then you have to understand this uh, topic and keep it in the long term memory. So I will tell you how to read it and how to organize this so that you can recollect it easily. Okay, now I come and sit and read the chapter in my speed. Now, this reading would be equivalent to three to four times reading only passively. Once you have not applied this technique, it is passive reading. Once you have applied this technique, it is active reading. So, now your mind is active and now I will go through the entire text and I will try to organize and consolidate it because during the time of exam, I cannot read this entire book in one night. That is not possible. But if I have it in a consolidated form, I can easily go through it. So that is made by notes. So I highly recommend that for one chapter, you make a single page note if it is possible. Now this chapter is for around six or seven pages. So this uh, full scape sheet would suffice because if we are having 20 or 22 chapter in this book, then we only have 20 or 22 such sheets for, examine, uh, for reading one night before examination and it is a very, very easy task to do that because you have prepared these notes, you have consolidated it. So it is no hassle whereas just uh, think if you want to read and revise the entire book one night prior which is not possible. And even for NEET or NEXT you have 19 subjects which you have to revise a sing in a single night. Do you think it is possible for you to go through every line? No. So the, these notes will help you. Now I have consolidated it. I have given the heading and I have prepared it in a very systematic manner. So as I remember it, I recollect it. And then when I want to revise it, I don't need to go to the book. 
I will just take this paper out and in two or three minutes, I can revise the entire chapter. I don't need to read it again. So one reading can actually make this chapter permanent in your memory. Now come here. I will want to, I want to show you how the notes are made. So come to me. So to make notes, we will look at the index. So in the index, we know that what they have given, they have given property composition. What is the formation? What is the circulation? Absorption, functions, collection, blood brain barrier. And these are the important points that they have mentioned. So now as I've read the entire chapter, I have made my notes. So here you can see I've written all of those headings, properties and composition, formation, circulation, absorption, functions of CSF in an entire single page. Now CSF pro properties and composition is given in this table. Now tables are very valuable because they concise the information in a very uh, image friendly way which our uh, brain can remember. So I've written down this table and I've uh, all the text that is there I've skipped it because the table has given me all the information required. Then again formation there are three important steps. That is site, mechanism and substances affecting. So here this arrow means that it increases with. That is CSF production increases with and decreases with. So these are the symbols that your brain will remember and it will be easier for you. So if there is an MCQ, you can know that with hypertonic saline, there is decreased by all of these things, there is increase. So this is how you trick your brain to remember. Flowcharts are also a very good way of remembering because our mind is... Uh, trained in that way that we can remember something in a flow rather than a text. So circulation, it moves from uh, lateral ventricle to Monroe foramen, third ventricle and so on and so forth up to cisterna magna and cisterna lateralis where it is absorbed. So this is the complete circulation, absorption and functions of CSF that is protective function, regulation of cranial content and medium of exchange. Now this will help you with writing answer. If there is a long question or a short question about CSF, you know what points to cover. It will help you with your MCQs because even if there is a single MCQ, like I have said, that all of the substances increase uh, the formation of CSF except. Now you know that hypertonic saline is that. And if there is a question that what is the function of CSF, you know that these are the functions of CSF. So this is an integrated way in which you can summarize entire chapters into a single page and Whenever you are just studying for it, you can only go through this and you can just revise it in one or two minutes once you've made it by yourself. So this is the hack of studying your technical material and remembering for a very, very long time. So this is how you can read any technical information and consolidate it so that it con gets converted from short term memory to long term memory. But remember that once you have made these notes, you have uh, consolidated it, you have to review it after seven to eight days for a single time and after that, uh, after 10 days for again one time. So that this three revisions will convert it into a long term memory and just before two or three days before exam, even if you go through it once, you will remember it and it will strike your mind whenever you need it or if a question is asked or if there is any MCQ or a Viva question. So I think this is, I have given you an example in terms of MBBS, but this will apply to any technical information, be it engineering, be it law, be it anything from a UPSC exams, MPSC exams. So this is a uh, reading technique. This is not a hack. This is a technique uh, which our brain is primed. But if you think that my textbook does not have any uh, images or tables, it is plain text. So just skip the first step. That is fine. You can start with step number two, three, four and go ahead with it. But just consolidate the information because textbooks have a lot of examples, have a lot of exaggerated things that you don't know or you don't need also. So the thing is you have to consolidate whatever is very, very important. And even in life, this is the principle. Focus on the most important 20% things which will give you 80% results. So this 80-20 principle applies everywhere and even when we are studying some or something important and something for our exams so all the very best and let me know if you want another video to uh, tell you about reading another book such as self-help books or books with technical information this is regarding mbbs but do let us know in the comments how did you find this and how easier your studies are and how effective this method is so all the very best and subscribe to our channel for more such updates